Let me accept that recording. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me something good. Baby, baby, come on. All right. Hey, I love Wednesday meetings, so watch out. Okay, so we've done Tell Me Something Good. Let me give you a little bit of a forecast of what's happening on our actives. You guys join in. Um, in Menifee, California, bright and early, we are at a whopping 207 active listings. It's huge. We started out 90 days ago under 100. I remember that. Unmute. Am I mute? I'm not mute. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> who's, it? who's Pat? Pat, you're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lake Elsinore. Let's hear a drum roll. No, go on um, because I got here late and so I don't have any of that. No, nope, I'm going to tell you. So don't you All right, worry. Perfect. Pretty little Thank you. Thank All you. right. Lake Elsinore has a whopping 128 active listings. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> we are at one point at 70. Those of you all recall, we are at 128. Marietta, we're at 202 active listings. And then beautiful Temecula Wine Country, 188 listings. I tell you this information, right? Because these are talking tools. When people ask you the infamous question that every single real estate agent gets is what? What's the market like? Are we in a bubble? Is it gonna crash? All that stuff, right? And are you vaccinated? Just kidding, just kidding. Bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm fired. That's okay. I'm gonna finish the meeting. I'm out. So, <laughs> um, I give we share this information. Your managers have this information because when you're asked that question, "How's the market?" you can readily say, "Hey, what we have in inventory is 207." What does that mean to you? It's a tire kicking question. They don't really care. They just want to know if you can help them. And yes, I can. So. That's, that's the reason why I shared just a little bit of that. If you're not in your MLS every day, get in your MLS every day and find something in your community and neighborhood to talk about. So there's my tip. David, are you ready? Because, you know, I can do this all day long. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, um, okay. Whenever you want a drum go. roll? Any, you know, you, I don't know your bio. Does anybody want to share some embarrassing facts about David before we get started? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Are you married, David? I am not married. So well, that's been embarrassing. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Take it away. Yeah. Hi, my name is David with the marketing department. Um, I wanted to say good morning. You took my vaccination joke. So <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> um, I just want to show you guys some of uh, the cool stuff we have available. Uh, give me one second. Um, if the host can make, let me share my screen. I want to show you some of the exciting things we're going through, and then we're going to touch upon Canva. Shannon, I think you're the host. Am I the host or are you the host? I am. Okay. Hold on. Let me fix this. David is being personally wants you to share with him. So. I know. I just want to share. <laughs> just wants to share. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, go. Awesome, thank you so much. So I'm just gonna share my entire desktop. Don't, please don't judge me. Um, We're not judging, I love okay. it. Okay, I'll Depends on the is. pictures that are on What there. is it? Okay. <laughs> oh God, you've got more icons on your desktop than I do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's there saying something. And I'm trying to hide them all with the screen here. All right, so one of the coolest few things we have coming out is we have updated our listing presentation. Um, our listing presentation is now integrating uh, the Home Services of America uh, changeover that we had just went through. So we're highlighting that and we're messaging that. It's now available as of this morning on the VAC for download. And then also in the VAC, there's a digital version. So if you want to send it out to your potential clients to take a look at, we do have a digital link. Give me one second. Let me just show you some of the pages here. Across the thing That's here. That's beautiful. Good job. 
Oh yeah, it looks it's really nice. It's everything is uh is pretty clean, more modern look. Um, with the digital version, you have a flip book, so your clients can take a look at um, the the listing presentation virtually. I mean, I feel like I said that twice in a row, but that's okay. But everything's here. It's updated um, for 2021. It's a really great piece. Uh, I love the flip look just because it gives it that 3D effect and it has that good look and it's Definitely. a little clean and easier to view, I think. And you can David, also reach more people than a printed David, copy. Mm -hmm. David, do you care? You want us to ask questions later as we go? Um, we can ask, well, but the listing presentation, we can ask now okay. because Canva We're, will be questions for after, yeah. Perfect. So um, excuse, this is gonna be a really basic question, but where is our listing presentation located? There is no basic questions. There's but only where the answers. Um, what I'm doing is buying time before I get you. <laughs> okay. <answer>. Okay, so <laughs> if you go to the VAC and if you go to resources, now on your guys' side, it's gonna say document center. On mine as an admin, it says document manager. Same idea. On the left-hand side, you're going to see marketing. We're going to go to listing buyer presentations. When you click on listing buyer presentations, you're going to see a listing presentation link. Uh, for agents, it's going to be here on the left-hand side. When you click on the links, you're going to have the desert, the luxury, and the standard. Right now, the standard's updated. The other two are getting updated. And then for the PDF and printable versions, it's going to be under listing presentation and you're going to have the PDFs right here for download and for print. Okay. And then as we roll, do the rollout, we're going to update it for the PowerPoints. Um, wow. So you can have that as well. So you can save it to like your iPad or your tablet and have a listing presentation on the go. Perfect. Did you guys all know it was there? Okay. I mean, yeah, I know it's in resources. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Of course. Um, now that that's there, so you have the listing presentation, you get the listing and you want to go ahead and share that. You want to share that you have a listing, you want to blast that everywhere. So we all know about like using flyers and social media and using postcards. Um, sometimes when you need those pieces, those marketing pieces, you need them right away. And in order to do that, there's this awesome program, awesome website that we've been using and utilizing uh, called Canva. If you don't know about Canva, it's basically a place where you can create all these different marketing pieces on your own in a quick way, get them printed, get them sent out to your social media, um, honestly, within minutes. So I'm going to show you how to do that and how to get started there. And if there's any questions, I can help you at the end. We can go back over um, whatever you guys need to do. Um, I've also in the chat, I've put the 1-800 number for our marketing department that you can always give a call to. Um, you can always reach us through email. We're always here to support and to help you out. So on the uh, VAC, you're gonna see this little cool guy on the carousel that just went away from me. Let me bring him back. And it's gonna say, uh, Canva, we now have three farming flyers and templates. Click here for one-click access. When you click on one-click access, it's gonna bring you to our Canva screen here. I just want to show you what it looks like. Um, welcome to your Canva enterprise. So what the Canva enterprise is, is Canva is a free app online that you can use. But with the Berkshire Advantage, we have an entire subsection with just Berkshire templates that you can use. So when you join the enterprise team, you can get started and be a member of our team. Let me get some water really quick. <laughs> I finished my coffee, so let's go back. <laughs> um, here we go. So the cool thing is, when you're back on Canva, we have this entire sub team, which is the California, Arizona, Nevada property section. It's over here on your left hand side. And this is where we're going to have all the flyers, postcards, social media pieces awesome. um, that you can use. Um, and we're also continuously updating and adding new content to this as well. So it's something that I'll honestly take advantage of. It's, it's all there for you. Um, for California, 
I recommend how you going through this is you have the California, Arizona, Berkshire section. If you click on folders and then you click on California properties templates, it's gonna bring you to all the California based ones. So if you saw on the page before, we have it broken down by state. Let me just show you again. There's Arizona, California, and Nevada. If you click on California, we actually see all the California pieces here. So everything from postcards and flyers and open house pieces and social media, they're all available for you on one easy stop. Uh, let me see. Let's say we want to go ahead and put this social media piece up. If you want to put something about Apex, we can. Yeah. I was just going to say we're all real excited about what you just said about that. One click access, all of California. Thank you. Woo -woo. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. It, everything's all in one uh, sub site. Like if you want to do an Apex social media piece, you can click on Apex social media. Let's say I want to post this on my Facebook or my Instagram, buy before you sell, call me for details. I can download and post it right now to my Instagram, to my Facebook and get that content out there. Yeah. And it has the call to action. Everything's pretty um, ready to go. Um, instant offer, sell without the stress of selling. And then I would download this in the description when you're posting it. Say, contact me uh, for more information or you know, instant message or direct message me for more information and get that posted. What I wanna do is uh, take you also through our farming flyers that you can take a look at. All our farming flyers that are on VAC are being updated onto Canva as well. Um, on the VAC, it is through Microsoft Word. We've learned a lot of agents don't have like Word, um, especially if you're on a Mac and then there's some kind of conversion stuff. So we figured that would be a good idea to move everything over to Canva. So everyone has access to the different flyers and postcards. Um, if there's something you want to add here, let's say I have this flyer here that I want to use more buyers and listings. I can make a copy. What making a copy does is it saves it to my local Canva account. And then I can reset, resave it here. I wanna save it for myself, more buyers and listings, and then I can edit it. Um, right now, so some of the first flyers we have, they're not fully editable, but as we go along, well, we're updating that to where you can ed edit the uh, message. Um, but of course, on every single piece, you already have the ability to change out photos and your contact information. Okay. Um, also on the California sub folder, we have the updated the logo and the updated disclaimer. So those are always um, going to be so fun. Those, ready to go. Can we print? How do? What about the printing part of it? Is that also inside, or once we get it done, we send it someplace else to have them print it? Oh man, this is such a great question. It's almost like we rehearsed this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when we're going to print, if you go in the upper right-hand corner, there is an option to download. And when you're printing out flyers, what we want to do is we want to make sure it's a PDF. So if you go to download and the file type, it, you have options of images, which are great for posting on social media or including in an email for e-blast or a PDF. So when you do a PDF for print, which is the highest quality for printing, we would click PDF for print and download. Um, I can take you, um, if I got a chance, uh, if I have a chance, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through how I would update this information here and then download it and get that going. And I also wanna create you a postcard to show you just the different messages that we have for postcards as well. Um, so when you have this here, uh, let me take a look. We have the agent photo here. If you want to use your agent photo, there you can do a couple things. You can either click on the photo, which opens it up. You can resize and drop in. So you can move that there. Um, you can also click on your photo, drag it over, and put it in the frame, it and then resize it. And get that updated there. Say I want her my photo to take a little more room there, move things around. And then we can change your name. 
and you can change out your contact information. And all these uh, boxes that have your information are all changeable. You can, if we have very long email addresses. So <laughs> with the CA yeah, properties, so you can always stretch this out to fit um, if that's one of those uh, things. And then once again, when you're ready here, you can go ahead, you can go on the upper right hand corner, click the option button here, download it. Make sure we're on PDF or print. You can download this guy here. It's really quick download. This is telling me it's done. It's ready to go. So I can go ahead, go here. Let's open up that flyer we just made and we're ready to go. So this is the PDF. I can either send this an email. I can go up here to my print icon in the upper right hand corner, get this printed in our office, print out a couple of copies if I'm gonna do some farming or some walking um, and, and it's ready. I mean, it's honestly a matter of minutes. This is such a great tool. And, great. Yeah, and in order to get like your photos, you literally are dragging and dropping your photos to this upload section here on the left-hand side. So let me see if I have any here. So that's action. great. So if you're so if you're doing like just listed cards and you're doing a mass amount of those, obviously a different type of paper that you're using, and you mm -hmm. want to send those to an actual printer, then I guess you would just send the, you could email them, the the downloaded, um, link that you've created, and then they would use that. Yes, exactly. Do I have, do I have some time? Can I walk through the postcards? Yes. Okay, cool. Definitely. Okay, awesome. Awesome, thank you. Let me take a look at the postcards here. Good question, Rachel. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, yeah, Dave, um, I have a question. So if we've had branding done, can you over, like, overwrite some of the fields because you don't need all the separate fields or you have photo and name all together? Right. So the cool thing is um, with the branding options and with all our things on Canva, everything's pretty interactive. Um, and that's one of the things you'll see. I can show you on a postcard. So let me go to the postcards and I'll show you how to integrate your branding to it. Uh, I'm trying to see if I have any branding pieces on the thing, but we can always pretend that I have one here. But <laughs> I, have a, I have a question too, while you're going through finding that. Um, some of my agents have paid for an upgraded version of Canva before we got our account. Can we integrate the Berkshire Hathaway and the Pro account? That's something that we're looking into doing. Um, in the very beginning, we were able to have the Pro work on both ends. Um, once we split into our own team, some features didn't follow over, but that's something we're looking into. Um, but on, of course, like I'm a Problem solver. I was about to say troublemaker, but <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Joe. Joe's yeah, a sure. monster. Um, but um, a problem solver. So the idea is, if you do have a Canva Pro account, we can get you the different logos and different pieces that you can use. Send those over to you. Um, we do have currently a logo library happening on Canva. Um, I can show you um, right before I touch upon the postcards. If you go to our subsection here our folders, we have a logo sub, sub uh, menu here, California logos. So right now we have like the luxury logo, the California logo, you can download these and then you can always upload them to your pro account for now um, to get started. If there's any type of um, particular message that you need, you can always reach out to our email, our marketing email, which is in the chat, the marketing at bhhscaproperties.com and let us know which particular message you would like. And I, what I can do is from the back end, I can share it with you. And then that way you can make a change from there. David? Yeah. I'm so sorry to interrupt. This is Denise. Um, I have a Canva Pro account. Mm -hmm. And actually what happened is when I signed up for the Berkshire Hathaway account, mm -hmm. um, I have both accounts on my Canva. It, it automatically, so I can swap you can switch back and forth when you go to your profile between Vivid Lifestyle Realty and Berkshire Hathaway. Right, right. Yeah, you can- So I get, uh, it, it does pull up both accounts and you can just talk, go back and forth. Right, right. I think, yeah, the, the piece that we're looking is getting those pro pieces, those pro elements, um, usage with the California uh, BHA. Oh, is that what she's saying? Okay, so you just, yeah, because I, I just download those and then upload them in the 
um, oh. yeah, in, into the other um, other side, or I copy them in one, and then I go, I toggle back to the other one and paste them. Oh, so or or share it to yourself or something, I guess. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. No. Perfect. Yeah. That's got a it. Out there yeah. Too. Awesome. I love it. Um, let me take a look. So we're hitting all my designs. We don't want to see my designs. That's all the stuff I've been working on. Um, let's go back to California. Let me show you a postcard template. Let me say I just sold this home. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a just sold postcard and we're going to touch upon getting it ready for print. So hopefully I didn't move it too fast there. I literally just clicked the, the artwork I want to change. I made a copy of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this so it saves in my files. I'll show you where that is right after this moment. <laughs> and I'm saving it so I know which artwork it is when it's in my library. So a postcard, it's going to be set up as two pages. Cool thing is updated logo, disclaimer. Um, the only thing I have really to say on the postcards is make sure you put your return address here. So make sure your office address is here and update it. That's pretty much the only thing you really have to worry about. Um, otherwise, we can go to our uploads. And do I have a picture? I do have a picture of me here. Just to show you how easy it is to add photos to your uploads. This is my agent photo here. All I would do is drag and drop it on the left-hand side, except for that kind of thing that happens live, of course. <laughs> uh, at least it happens to you too. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So the idea is, so we can, like I mentioned pretending earlier, we can pretend when I drag and dropped it, it landed here and their photo uh, appeared. You can see it worked countless times with so many other agents before. So. <laughs> Oh. Um, but you also do that with your property images. You would drag and drop them from your desktop or your folder and drop them into the side here. You can drop them directly onto the main page here. Um, this should work here. I wouldn't necessarily do this, but if you drag and drop, this is a email signature. You drag and drop it directly onto the page. It goes ahead and works and it uploads. It's my upload queue, okay? Um, let me see. Say this main photo, um, I want to do something more striking. I want to use a photo to gain some interest because as we know, photos grab people's attention right away. That's what you do is you grab them with the photo and then you hit them with the information afterwards. So what I would do is I would drag and drop my photos into these frames. They're already pre-sized, ready to go. You can always double click on a photo, move it around, change it up, make it fit to how you want it to fit, how you want it to work. But if there's any other ones you want to highlight, say I want to take this photo here. As you're seeing, as I'm dragging, it's basically snapping to each one of these different boxes. And I'm dropping these photos in across. And if there was another one, let's take this interior photo here, drag it because kitchens sell houses, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to <laughs> that and highlight that there too. All right, so that's the front of the postcard. Um, here we go, and we're going to go ahead and put so sold. The, since these text boxes, you can add the price, you can add beds and baths, you can add any information you wish and get that going in there. You can change the title. So what if it's not, not just sold, maybe it's in escrow. I can go ahead and update that across the page here. Maybe I have an open house this weekend and I just want to walk an area and I just want to print off like 20 of these cards. I can do an open house as well and you can move that around to your liking um, the one thing i do recommend is we already have everything set up for the correct margins for printing if you are going to send it out to like deluxe or signum digital or your own printer um, we already have it already pre-done there same thing on the back of the card you can drag and drop your photos all i'm doing is going to my uploads i'm gonna put mount rushmore up there um, Jag and drop. Your text is all editable. So you don't want to mention the price on here. Maybe it's an escrow and you don't want to include that or it's listed and you kind of want them to call you for offers. You can use any headline you want. Um, we have uh, all set up so it's everything is pretty much editable. You can either include your property information here. You can do a call to action. Uh, contact me if 
you like it more information, um, see how I can get you top dollar, those kind of interesting, you know, just different pieces. And same idea when we go here, let's put this photo here, my agent photo. I'm going to put my name over here. I'm going to be a Smith today because <laughs> energy. Uh, <laughs> and make sure you get that DRE number in there as well, your phone number and your email address. So once this is done, you say, David, I did all this work. I got it ready. I want to send this off to a printer and get this printed um, and mailed. So what I would say would be, oh, great. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and get you uh, pushed out to the thing. But before we do that, I just remembered there was a branding question. So let's use that brand. So as you see here, um, what I have is a logo that was already created for SB. So if I click on that logo, which all I did was drag and drop into my upload section, it's here. It's a little large when you click on it. What we can do is we can resize and we can move that around. Let me go ahead and move this down a little bit with our postcards. When you're moving things, you also see these little pink margins up here. And that gives you how, how far you have really to the bottom to work with. So you have that as well. So what I can do is I can put this here. Let me resize it, get that logo in there. And once I have that there, I have the realtor, I have my name, I have my phone number. I don't need this information here. I can move that, move this around. Yeah. And if I wanna make it look nicer, I can always click this little guy up here, which is just the editing tool. And I'm just aligning it different. I'm just making it centered. And, and I'm sorry, what is SB? You mentioned too also that the, the pictures were already sized appropriately. So how did the pictures, the images and the logo and the things get on that left side of the screen so that they're already ready to be implemented onto whatever document you're using? All right, uh, great question. If we've created your logo, we have all these pieces and we should have sent them out to you. Um, if we haven't, you can always reach out to us. You can give us a call at 1-800-735-2710 uh, or send us an email to the marketing email and uh, we can get that over to you. Um, and basically all we're doing is we're resaving their logo. We're gonna resave it, send it to you as a PNG or JPEG, um, the highest quality we can. So it can be a, good for print. Your photo, that's something either um, you can have, we can send you a photo we have on file. It's all depending on what you wanna use, but that is something that's gonna be downloaded to your computer. So just Got like that, okay. that, 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 that didn't work, uh, I like to talk about my embarrassments. <laughs> 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 but it's the same idea. Like you can click okay. on your photo, drag Got it over, it. Yep. drop it to the upload section, and okay. go ahead and get that added to your card. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that we have our logo, our photo, just want to move it so her head's not cut off as much. We typed in our our contact information. We have it ready for printing. We can go to up here, we can click on download or click on the three dots. They click on download. Um, when it's a postcard, you'll notice that the first option is PNG. This is if you wanna post it on social media, if you wanna send it through email, but that's not what we wanna do. We wanna do it as a printing. So what we would do is click on this drop down menu and once again, click PDF or print. Once you click PDF or print, we're gonna make sure it's all pages and we can go ahead and download. The funny thing is here, it has the crop marks and bleed. It gets oversized. The cool thing is we already sized it with the bleed and everything in mind. So you should be able to just not have to use that and just do a straight download. And it's only seconds uh, for downloading, maybe about 10 seconds. And I lack patience, so that 10 seconds was a long time for me. Um, but <laughs> just being honest, <laughs> the design is downloaded, ready to go. So we can go ahead and we can open that up. And now we have that PDF. And so this PDF is print ready. It's 300 DPI. If you guys have any issues or any questions, um, you let us know and we can help you out. Um, one of the easiest things we can do is if you go back to this artwork here, you're gonna see this button that says share. When you click on that share button, throw my, you could, you could throw my email in there. It should be defaulted in there somewhere. 
not my personal email, but my work email. <laughs> I guess I have both of them. But it should be, um, if you click me here and you share it with me, I can take a look at it. I can help you out if there's anything or if you have any issues, um, I'm able to help you guys. If you need like download it or get it prepped for uh, printing and it's not working correctly, I can more than more than help you guys out and, and walk you through or, or uh, download it for you and convert it for you. But yeah, that's just something that we can do to help you. Honestly, once you get started and you start getting into it and you download a couple pieces, it goes pretty quick. It goes pretty quick. As you can see, just walking through, we did this in a few minutes. David, I have a question over here. Sure. How do you, how do you um, send this from this point to Deluxe? To send it to Deluxe. So once we get it downloaded, so I went here, I downloaded it down. I had the PDF. I did the pages, I downloaded it. Um, once it's there, what we're gonna do is you would go to the Deluxe website and upload it. So I don't have it linked right now because I'm under here, just download it. <laughs> our coordinator. But you on the VAC, you have the Deluxe tile on the main page. You can go to Deluxe here. And when you get to Deluxe, um, it gives you an option to upload your artwork. So you're gonna choose a custom postcard. You're gonna upload it there. If you need any help, go ahead and give us an email or give us a call. One of us here at our marketing department can help you out and walk you through if there's anything significant. Um, we also have a rep that uh, we can send out all the information to and get that uploaded as well. Um, if you're using Deluxe, I would suggest um, also having your farm ready. And if you do not, then you can also use the, um, the radius mailing. You can choose a certain amount around that listing to send it to, or in your farm. Um, cool thing about Deluxe, I think the minimum is 100 addresses. So it's a pretty cool, pretty low minimum to get those mailed out. Yeah, thank Great you. Great question, whoever asked that, thank you so much. Yeah, Donna awesome. Howard. <laughs> I know Donna, how are you doing, Donna? Um, let me see. Is there anything else you guys want me to touch upon or? Any? Yeah, David, Joe McGowan here. Um, a quick question on teams and partnerships. What um, what templates do we have already set up that we can work with for teams and partnerships in the California group? Teams and partnerships on the California group. Thank you for hitting with that one, Joe. <laughs> it's a great question. Sorry about the sarcasm. Um, that's something that's ongoing that we're converting things to. They're not live yet. That's that, that's why the sarcasm came. <laughs> Stir in the pot here, stir in the pot. But yeah, exactly. No, but it is something I came up with my last, uh, last meeting, um, getting those updated. And basically what we're going through is all the farming flyers were the first things we're getting updated to include teams. So when you do look at the team's information here, you can click we, us, ours, and get that updated. Um, and then we're also doing the postcards. So we have like the downsizing programs, uh, the new chapter in your life, rental properties. These are all the ones that are static. So those ones we had to like duplicate and we're working on the back end. They're just not live yet. Um, but when they are live, you will be receiving an email, like a marketing mail about that information. Um, the cool thing is uh, when it comes to the listing pieces, since they're all interactive and they're all changeable, if I can get back there, let's pretend here. Since yeah, they're all interactive and everything editable, you can go ahead and um, integrate the team information there. So like I showed you here with the different text, you can change the text here to include your team information. There is some room here that you can move your information down here. You can resize and move around if you have two photos. All I'm doing is copying and pasting. You can include two photos, or if you have a team photo, you can also do that. So all I did right now is just resize these photos so I can fit two photos here. Information, this is all editable. Let me see. We go here, you can change the font size, change the font color, change the actual font if you need to, to give us some room. That way we can fit um, your team and your multi-person pieces. Yeah, there you go, you had a solution ready. I did have a solution. It was in the chamber. I just had to <laughs> just had to work it through. 
David, can these postcards become postings for social media as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, instead of downloading it as a PDF, you're going to download it as an image. So you're going to go to download. We're going to use that PNG and or a JPEG, depending on uh, your preferences. And we're going to go ahead and download. Once you download the images, um, postcards, you download as two images. When you download a flyer, it downloads as one. Right now, you can see it's downloading on the bottom right-hand corner. We have our design. Okay. So since it's two images, it's saving it as a zip file here. But if I go to open, I can see that this is where my pictures are. I can open my picture. There's my photo, there's my back of the card, which is probably not the piece that's gonna bring people in. What's gonna bring them in is gonna be the images. And then you put the information in your description. Um, okay. So that's available there. And then you would just post it from there. Um, and that's why one of the coolest things is we had that whole social media sub subsection that mm -hmm. makes it a little bit easier so. Yeah, thank you. No, you're right. I just wasn't sure. If, you know, sometimes when you're in the moment, you're super stoked. You want to post right then. I didn't know. If right. You want to get it done right away. And I already created it. So let me post that as well. Um, right. But there is a folder here with our social media. Pieces. So you can do like a coming soon template. You can do under contract, open house. You can do a coming soon piece. Use this template. Same idea, we drag and drop the and photo drop. image, your image, your information. You download it, post it online. Everything's with the Burke cab. Um, you'll notice everything is branded, cab, black and white, and some luxury gray in different pieces. But same idea, you wanna throw open house in there. I think I see, I've seen this one on Facebook um, being used a lot, but you literally just drag and drop your house photo put your address and pertinent information on there and then go ahead and get that downloaded and posted. So it, it's pretty awesome tools. Um, one thing else I want to touch upon is if you say you create something like I just did, we created that postcard, we created that flyer and now it's Friday afternoon. I need this right now for this weekend. I need to print these out. Um, I have an open house and I need something. Um, and I wonder, David, where, I didn't save it. Like, I don't remember where I saved it. We can go to all your designs and everything you've worked on will show up here, here on your, all your designs. Um, there's also a recent designs on the left-hand side. I prefer all your designs because I'm scatterbrained and I, I can't find things most of the time. So I think I worked on it yesterday, but I worked on it a week ago. So um, so I like all your designs. So I can take a look like, oh, okay, here's that more list buyers and listings flyer I was working on and I had. Now I can just go ahead and download this. Where I can share this. Love it. Um, is there any other questions? David, um, for door to door farming, is there a way to resize the flyers to get two to a page? Two to a page. Um, good question. Right now, the only way I could think is if you download, if you download the flyer. You download the flyer and you open it and you get to print. And if it gives you the two to the page option, um, this is, I'm not sure what printer I'm gonna be using, but sometimes on the settings, you can scale it and tell it you wanna do two on page. At the moment, I don't have a two up of all our pieces, but that's something I can take to my team. And if I had a pen, I would write that over. If you can email me that suggestion. I will. Yeah, no worries, David. There's certain yeah. ones that are needed as two ups. Um, that would be great. Yeah, I know. Totally, totally understand. That's something we can utilize. Uh, get more bang for your buck. Get more flyers out there on a page. And, yeah. yeah. Um, as a total aside, and I'm probably yeah, I get in trouble for this, but um, I'm actually working on some three ups <laughs> as well. To get Love it. Okay, cool. Love it, David. Awesome. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's a totally offside project thing. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> cool. Is there anything else you guys want to take a look at? Um, any questions about anything uh, interesting? 
is there any way that you can um, like text over the actual photos? Like be able to say um, in a different one was great home or seven days on the market only or sold fast. But like in a social media piece? Well, any piece for that matter. In any piece, okay. Um, so, I mean, are any of these uh, templates able to where you can actually text over the photos? So like, the cool thing I, is, I hear that. <laughs> yeah, you can text. Yeah, because when you're, I, I feel embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, when you're on a phone, that's intimate. That's more intimate than an email or something. You're in someone's hand with the, your information in your in your pieces. So what you can do is you can download it. Um, it's like a two-step process to do that. So I would download it as an image. So you have a PNG or a JPEG. I would download that um, myself. I would email it to myself. So after I have the image, uh, like we went here, what I would do is say, this is just pretend. That's my favorite word today, it feels like. <laughs> and this is the, the social media piece you want to send. What I would do is I, I'd email this to myself and I would open my email on my phone and for my phone, I would save it and then I could text it out. Um, I do know there's like a, there's drip oh. campaigns. You can also use it as well. You can download the image. Once you have the JPEG or PNG, you can input it into your BAC drip campaign. You can insert it and get that emailed out. Um, you're pretty much free to do whatever cool. you want. So you don't only have to post it, you can also share it through text. Um, that's um that's super cool. I, that wasn't my real question, but I like that better. Yeah. I, I was wondering if we could actually write on the uh, photos inside oh, templates. Write on the photos. Yeah, yeah, but I like it. Thank you for sharing that because that's that's like that's even better than what I was asking. I like that. Oh, okay. So ba basically, I kind of what the last person was saying was basically getting a little bit more customizable regarding your situation. Like I've got a couple situations that I really want to communicate. And so I, I'm hearing what she's saying. Like if you're wanting to write something, whether it's an overlay or whatever, mm -hmm. if you download it as a PNG, then then we're able to manipulate it accordingly on our own and then utilize it, whether it's a postcard, a flyer or whatever in that way. Is that right? PNG yeah. is the key to being able to manipulate it and customize it. Like within seven days, you want to be able to say. Yeah, that. you can do it there. Yeah, if it's something, you can always go back and and update your information here. I mean, there's different handwriting fonts here as well. If you want to include that, if you want to download it as the main. But if something changes from you downloading it here to where um, in between, you can always bring it up into like an app. Um, I know, like even on Instagram, if you want to share that image, that PNG on your story, you can always write over on the actual story itself. Um, you can drop the bars in and put information there as well, add text. Um, yeah. Once you download it, it's a flattened image. You can do pretty much any way anyway you want. Got it. Okay, PNG. Okay, thank you. Thank you, David. You're welcome. That's awesome. Downloading is the key. Downloading is the key, yeah. And then you can always <laughs> edit it for sure. David, can you give us an example of how you would take a flyer maybe out of here and put it into our VAC to send to our CRM? Nice. Could you get rid of And download this. So this is a flyer here. What we would do is we would download it as an image. So I would download and instead of a PDF or print, what I would do is I would do it as an image. So let me do um, a JPEG because it's a smaller file size. Let me go ahead and download that. And it's taking a second here, it's ready to go. Let me show that in my finder. All right. So bear with me if it takes me a second to get through. I have horrible, horrible, options of using the Explorer menu where the downloads are and finding it when we're uploading. So if I skip a beat, um, don't laugh. Or you can laugh, but just don't let me hear it, please. Um, if you go here, I'll mute, I'll mute, I'll mute. <laughs> we'll mute. Okay, thank you. If you go back to your California and we go back to um, the marketing subsection, we can go to your drip campaign letters. And what we can do is depending on the piece we want to do, since I'm admin for corporate, 
I have all this extra stuff and everything. So don't mind that. We can create a new drip campaign letter because this is what you're going to be adding to a drip campaign. So you can create a drip campaign after. All we're doing right now is creating a letter. Um, but this is going to be, I forgot what the subject was. Let's pretend this is a marketing fund flyer and subject. Let me see, downsizing, ready to downsize. We'll pretend that's the, we'll think that that's the message I downloaded. But, um, and then we'll go ahead and get that ready. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the template. We'll go ahead and edit. And right here is gonna be the message for our email. All right, for our drip campaign. Um, what we can do now is we're gonna to go to insert image and I'm gonna upload the file. And this is where I'm asking you guys to bear with me for a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna browse and I'm pretty sure I have it under my downloads. And let's say dot date modified, more buyers and listings. Okay, that wasn't as embarrassing as I thought it was. Wow. <laughs> I surprised Sorry. Sometimes. I wanted you to be embarrassed. <laughs> so now we get this uploaded. And what it's going to do is it's going to put my image in here. Um, once you click on your image, there should be an option here. I can, I think I can right click and click on image properties. And I can change the width. Usually for emails, I like 800 width. Um, let's take a look and see what that looks like here only because um, when we're using mobile devices, a lot of times if it's too large of an image, it automatically resizes. But what happens when it resizes is it makes it so you can't read the actual message. So I like to be in control. So it's like everything in my life, I need full control before it goes out. <laughs> so I need to change it before it goes out. So I like to do it to so 800 width. Um, all your marketing mails, all your BHHS information that comes from marketing is gonna be 800. Just so you guys know. Did you say a hundred? Good. Sorry, I'm looking at it. Yeah, no problem. Um, I do speak kind of fast and time and I get excited about things. So, um, but once you get this drip campaign set up, more buyers and listings, I have this set up, I have this saved and inserted. I can go ahead and click on okay. And now I just created my piece. So um, I have my marketing fund flyer, I'm going to change that name just so it's because of my complex that I have that you guys don't need to know about, but more by know now. <laughs> <laughs> that there you go. That was the embarrassing thing I needed to share yeah, with you. Yeah, you. there it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, and so I have the subject now, more buyers and listings, and I can put this in whatever category I need when I'm putting these up. For the moment, I clicked other, but you can create your own and add your own different campaigns that you want to do and which list I want to send it to. Okay, I don't have any groups here, but that's something you could get that set. And I would save and close. And that's how you would utilize those different things to insert as um, like a drip campaign. So I set it up as a letters. I think uh, Chris Weeder in our education does a whole class on the CRMs and the drip campaigns and how to get those started. and um, how to make it so you can you can do ones that are evolving and ever changing so it's not like static where it's just an entire campaign so um yeah it was just about like how do we get that photo in there if we wanted to use this to use yeah. it so now we know we have it's probably better to do it in a campaign than to just do a one-off letter it seems like because then you could use it over and over again i agree yeah, yeah for sure for sure yeah but yeah just get that in the letter and you can always do and if the thing, the cool thing is if you want to do one off and you want to send it to your entire CRM, you can do the, the download the image and do one of the social media images for a listing or a sold to let people know that this is in your neighborhood um, or this just sold in your neighborhood, got the highest price, how can I help you too? You can do the same thing, click it, download, go to the drip campaigns, insert it as a one off and get that done as well. Um, yeah, there's so many different tools. Yeah, once you have that downloaded piece, as an image or a print ready PDF, the sky's the limit. You can spread that out all around. And I'm noticing my hand gestures didn't appear, but you can set it out <laughs> all everywhere. <laughs> it can go everywhere. That's awesome. Right. Do you have any more questions? Any other things you guys are interested in or suggestions? You guys have anything? 
I'm clean. <laughs> now we just got to do it. Yeah, just do it. We just got to do it. <laughs> I'm excited. It sounds like fun, actually. I'm going to awesome. drag, and drop, drag and drop all day long. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So if I can have everyone send me, that's in the class, go ahead and send me, um, share a Canva piece with me by three o'clock today. That'd be great. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you guys heard it. What are we yeah. Ah, they want to know what the prize is. Come on. Uh, make it good. I, have, I think I have a dollar off coupon <laughs> Starbucks. Um, good, we'll take it. <laughs> I don't have that. I have 100 points. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me. If you have any questions, once again, 1 800 735 2710. And there's also the marketing email address. We have myself, Jasmine, Dan, that can help you guys out and point you in the right direction and get things going. Um, that's marketing at EHHSCA properties. I think I have that somewhere. You can see me scrounging yeah. around trying to figure We've out yeah. where my you... things are. But um, yeah, if it's not, let me go ahead and put that in the chat again. There Thank you go. so much for um, walking us through this today, David. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah that's, that's perfect. Thank you, David. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of I love that stuff because it's fun. The devil's talking. <laughs> I, actually, I, actually have, I actually have answers for your questions. That's always fun. Yes, this was great. I'm excited. I'm the newest person here, so I love it. To me, seeing this is exciting. So thank you. Yep, thank you very, very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for having me. So we have a few minutes left. Did you guys want to share anything else? Does anybody have any listings they want to pitch since we've got the whole valley on the line? Do it. Do it. I was trying to think. Can we just make up listings? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I put my my Bellotta, my Timiku Hills Bellotta house back on the market after she redid the pool. Um, spent a lot of money on the pool and did a lot of home inspection items that was probably the reason that it fell out. So back on the market, do an open house on Sunday. That's 30849 Bellotta and that is in Temecula in Temecu Hills. How much is that going for? Six ninety-five. Six ninety-five. Right on. Oh, one of my agents, if you can put it in the chat, we're looking for a pool contractor. If you don't mind sharing. Am I unmuted? Nope, you're unmuted. I am unmuted. You can tell. Hi, um, Rana and I have <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, Rana and I have a condo listing that was pending, but it is going back on the market today. It's actually active right now. It's in um, Menifee Town Center. It's on Town Square Drive. It's a two bedroom plus a loft condo, two story, two car attached garage. We were under contract for 405. And it's um, 1395 square feet. Why did it fall out? Yeah. Uh, the buyer couldn't perform. So That's sad. We're going to do Thank an you. open house all weekend also. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Hi, good afternoon or good morning. Um, Cecily Nelson here. Hi. Hi. Um, um, I have a rental in, I'm sorry, in Marietta, Santa Rosa Highlands, three bedroom, two and a half bath um, for $3,100 a month. Um, it has a pool directly across the street. Um, it's 1,725 square feet available August 15th. That's my awesome. bird. <laughs> that, I wondered what that noise was. Hey, do you mind shouting out your phone number because we get calls for rentals? So I would just be able to share yeah, that out. Okay. Code 619-200-2014. 2014. Thank you. All right, you guys got that? Perfect. All right, anything else? Anybody else have a listing they want to share with everybody? Tina, go. Can we hear you? I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah. Go yes. ahead, go. I haven't figured this out yet. Um, <laughs> I have an open house for um, our house in Marietta. Um, three bedrooms, loft, three bathrooms, 
beautiful landscape backyard, fully paid for solar, great property. We got, we had a couple um, investors that had written to us this weekend and we would like a family in here. So if anybody's got a first time home buyer or a family that they want to get into a house, we will consider them above any investors. Um, so what's the, what's the street address? Say, don't say that anywhere else but this place. Please. I won't. <laughs> We're all family here. You're in the bubble. Exactly. exactly. Good. Trust you guys. <laughs> yes, um, for sure. Uh, it's 33691 Sundrop Ave in Marietta. It's in the Mapleton community. Um, and we're doing open house on Saturday from 12 to three. So if anybody has anybody, we are not in a rush to sell. We don't have contingency with our other house. Okay. So we are waiting for the right people. That's What's terrific. the price? Hey, price. Uh, yeah. 558. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Hey, just cause I want to get some data information. Why, where are your buyers or where are your sellers moving to or where are they going? North Carolina. She's the Thank seller. You. She's the seller. You're the <laughs> seller. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's you. You're moving. No, yeah. Tina. I just got to meet you. <laughs> okay. North Carolina. Well, good to know. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. You can. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead, Robert. Oh, this is Robert Schmidt. Um, I have a listing in Mahogany Hills. And the square footage is 2607, 2000, built in 2014, three bedroom, two and a half bath with an office. Highly oh, wow. upgraded, three car garage. Um, listed last week at 650. However, the people are out of town in Europe. They're coming back this Saturday and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna do a major adjustment probably on pricing. Oh. So, Something you might want to look at. Single story, really nice home. Located very nicely in the community. For all of the, oh, those you know, Mahogany Hills, great track. That's it. Thank you. That's great. I have a list in. I have a list in Anza. It's um, if there's actually three houses on it, there's a three bedroom, three bath home, main home. There's a single bathroom, one bedroom cottage with a small kitchenette that's um, detached. And then another co cottage with a one bedroom, one bath and a two car garage um, that's separate. So all three units. It's on 10 acres in, on Burnt Valley in Anza towards uh, se Highway 74. So it's in the upper um, elevation and it's listed for 689,000. Nice. So have two art studios, a little chapel, a little playhouse, uh -huh. a area for events if you wanted to do that. So it has a lot of investor potential or Airbnb and that type of stuff. Thank you. Is that on septic by any chance? Um, septic it? and um, well, and propane. Oh, well. Um, oh. The water heater. Plus. So yeah, it's out in the country. It's 10 acres. Good deal. Across the street is Red Skeleton 600 acre um, uh, estate. So they won't be developing that right away. So that'll be nice. Thank you. That's good one. Anybody else? Me, Tammy Hutchinson. I have a full contractor if you need the information. Also, I have two listings even active uh, in Marietta on 4781 Peregrine Place, listed for 925. And another one in San Diego going live tomorrow, 11985 Wilmington Road. What's the San Diego listing going for? 1.249. All right, too much for mine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bring your buyers. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Anybody else? Hi, this is Jill Madden from Temecula. I've got one in French Valley. 
Um, it's six bedrooms, four and a half baths, set up for like a multi-gen kind of family with a casita that adjoins the house. Um, six ninety nine eight, and it's ready to go. We'll be open both Saturday and Sunday from twelve thirty to four. All good. Anybody else? The longer we wait, the more listings keep coming. Oh, I have a listing. You can come. Talk okay. Hi, hey, everyone. I'm Delia. Um, so I got a listing uh, last week. It's my ex-husband's house that we used to own together as oh, wow. investment property <laughs> in Temecula. When, when he sold his company, we bought real estate with the money. And um, so it's, the, it's one of those houses that he's selling. He's relocating to Huntington. And um, it's a great house. It's like, it's what, 3,500 square feet. It's got a granny flat attached. He was in the process of getting it all um, permitted, but I don't, well, Shannon and I both agree that uh, buyers really don't care right now about having like an extra unit that's permitted. So what he's basically doing is he's going to set everything up ready to be permitted. Like he's putting in um, like cabinetry and appliances into the granny flat. Um, but otherwise, I mean, the house is completely upgraded. It's on a golf course. I forget what hole that fairways. it's on in the fairways, which is a very nice community here in Temecula nice. off, off the Red Hawk loop. Um, we bought it for like 400 and I think eight, maybe six, seven years ago. And the listing price is going to be $825,000 for that a big, big track home. <laughs> yeah. So it's crazy that people are getting, you know, close to, you know, 900 to a million dollars for track homes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, so it's good. It's, uh, coming soon, what? starting today. Coming soon, starting today. Yeah. Perfect. What's the street name? It's on Embassy Street, E M B A S S Y. Got it. I live in the fairway, so I okay. know. Yeah. Yeah. And you're it's right. Like that. Me, it runs parallel to Temecula Parkway. Right. Exactly. And then um, I think off of Willowick or Pine, those that one sold for a million, over a million yep. dollars. It's just crazy to me. Yeah. Just that was in our home. comps. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Crazy. Well, good luck to you. Thank well, you. Sure. Yes. Easy. Crazy how you get to sell your ex's house <laughs> or your house together. Crazy that they're still on talking terms. Yeah. Yes. That is okay. uh, tell me something good. That's awesome. <laughs> Any other right, listings out there? Let's We're gonna call it. it. Let's call it. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody coming today. It looks like it was a pretty good group out there. Hope you got a lot of information from our marketing department. Um, reach out to them if you need anything customized, of course. Um, I love the new listing presentation. So if you have the old one, you might want to get on the horn and get some new ones ordered for um, all the listings that are coming. Good deal. And um, with that, I'll say have a wonderful week. Bye, everybody. Joe, Carol, and Alicia.